So we are in Los Angeles, California for the Dodgers and Nationals game here tonight. Now the Nationals, again, worst record in the MLB for a reason. One so is a bad beat trade. So this is on Tuesday. I don't know when this vlog's going to come out. Probably like Sunday-ish. But this is on Tuesday. Soto is still a National for now. Same with Josh Bell, Nelson Cruz nobody wants, but I'm assuming he's gonna get traded eventually. Same with Cesar Hernandez. But all four of those guys are still in the team, even Kyle Finnegan is still a national for now. Um, so this is like the last two raw for this horrible Nationals team. It is the worst team in the MLB in the Washington Nationals versus the best team or in the NL in the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Nats won last night, so hopefully they can pull it off again. And tonight is also um, Clayton Kershaw bobblehead night, and we're gonna be doing a giveaway here on the channel where you can win uh, one of these Clayton Kershaw bobbleheads. All you gotta do is uh, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram, and like the post that we're gonna be posting later on Instagram as well if you do want to win this Clayton Kershaw bobblehead. So we're not gonna head on over to Los Angeles. Uh, we're gonna watch some BP again. It's gonna be sold out in LA because it's Dodger Stadium, so I don't know if we're gonna get a chance to get a baseball, but we're gonna head on over to LA and we're gonna go watch this amazing Nationals team. So this is my first time at Dodger Stadium. It's actually only the fourth ballpark I've been to. I've been to, of course, uh, the A's and Giants I live in the Bay Area, so I've been to both those parks multiple times and I've been to Angel Stadium just once but my goodness this place was packed and I know it was Kershaw bobblehead night so it is gonna be more packed than usual but man like I'm used to Giants BP being crowded Dodgers batting practice was insane like so many people were here and the problem with this is like no balls are being hit into the stands Soto and Josh Bell did not take batting practice Nelson Cruz didn't either so it's just the other Nationals hitting during batting practice and let's be honest with ourselves the Nationals don't really hit home runs if it's not Bell and Soto and even Bell doesn't hit too many home runs hits more for average now um, so it, really I think that there was two home runs in the seats Kiba Ruiz hit one and then Lane Thomas pulled one in the left that was it I think or no there's three I think Robles hit one in the left too that was all there's three balls that went into the crowd so we are forced now to play the toss-up game with the Nationals relief pitchers who are just hanging out in the outfield. And luckily, those guys are playing a game out there. So Carl Edwards was basically just pointing out uh, just any Nationals fan that was in the seats. And there was only like three of us there. Um, but Carl Edwards was out there. Hunter Harvey, um, Steve Ciszek, and Kyle Finnegan were all out there. So they'd give the ball to Edwards, and Edwards just would try to point out a fan and throw it right to him. So you're going to see that in a second. Eventually, I was the one Nationals fan that Carl Edwards pointed out. And we're about to see the results right here. So right here. Here, I've officially been spotted by Carl Edwards and Hunter Harvey. They point to me and Steve Ciszek. They see me in the Nationals jersey, and here you go. Carl's gonna let one fly. Oh, right over my head. <laughs> um, okay, I mean, I get it. There's a million people out here, so it's tough to make that throw. But yeah, Carl kind of launched one too high right there, but it's all right. So being the great man Carl Edwards Jr. is, he tries again, and here are the results. <laughs> Yeah, it's a tough world out here. I mean, you got 20 Dodgers fans surrounding you, and again, Edwards kind of underthrew me there, but it's all right, it's okay. He just pitched like three straight games before tonight, so it's fine. So Carl's gonna try again, a third time's a charm. Why not let it fly? <laughs> And I mean, at this point, man, Carl Edwards just feels bad. Like you saw his reaction right there. I mean, I tried to get that baseball. I jumped as high as I could with bleachers and all. Okay, I play center field. I'd like to say I'm a pretty good defensive center fielder, but I, I couldn't get to that ball. So Carl's gonna try one more time though. I think this is finally gonna be the one. Get me up here, go. And boom, there we go, we got it. Shout out Carl Edwards. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I had to go down the front row. But we finally made the play right there. Carl Edwards now goes into my own personal Nationals Hall of Fame. He joins Kyle McGowan, Andrew Stevenson, and Josh Harrison. And the Nationals players have been super cool to me in real life. So shout out to him, um, that was dope. But yeah, that does it for batting practice. Again, not many home runs were hit out into the stands. So on to game time, Nationals and Dodgers, the worst team record-wise in baseball, the Nationals, versus the best team in the National League, of course, in the Los Angeles Dodgers. Leading off, center field, number 16, Victor Robles. 
So excuse my bad camera work here, but it's Soto's first AB. Mitch White is pitching for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And we're gonna see runners on first and second here for one, and he just taps it right back to the mound. No outs, but Robles moves over to third, and Cesar Hernandez moves over to second. So, I mean, typical kind of this season for Soto, but runners on second and third here for the Nationals, still the first inning. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna score one. Oh yeah, all right. You're the book club. And to kick off the bottom of the first, of course, I missed it. Josiah Gray pitching to Mookie Betts. First pitch, I think Betts takes it deep. So just like that, the Dodgers tie up this game at one. The Nationals took forever to score that one run, and the Dodgers get it immediately right back. Oh, I missed Trey. Oh, he struck him out. Oh, that was strike three? Oh, yeah. All right. I didn't know. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's worth 10 top 100 prospects. Where's Dylan, Dylan Carlson at? Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh. Oh boy, Josh! How is he not an all-star? Like... Come on, Josiah. Uh, staying in the oh my goodness. Ah. One pitch for two Alright, fans, it's time for the seven-day stretch. That's the season right there. But with all that bad play aside, it's a one-run game in the top of the eighth. Luis Garcia at the plate, and oh my goodness. Luis Hit him. Come on, we got to trade him in two days. Don't hurt him. St. Louis ain't going to like that. Hey, do you remember the last time the Nationals had bases loaded at Dodger Stadium late in the game? 2019 Howie Kendrick Grand Slam. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And then before that, Parra hit the Grand Slam in what? In, in, in April? No, May? I'm just saying. Oh my! Battery died, but we'll take it. We'll take it. That ended up being a sack fly for Josh Bell. Five rebounds, you gotta be kidding me. 
All right, come on, Nelly. Oh, get down, Nelson Cruz. Oh my God, Nelson Cruz did something. Let's go, trade value going up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Imagine losing two games to the Nationals. Oh my God. He's 42 years old. game how do the Dodgers lose a three-game series of the Nationals like how does that happen how does that happen this team has 30 wins the 30 games under 500